words yours to take But we got something you can't buy no Nothing but the night Hello, hello, and welcome to our show And it is I, Ed Grass, and And Agnes And so today we have a very interesting topic about Portugal So let's go and meet our audience So, introduce yourselves. What's your name? Hi, I'm Hannah. Hi, I'm Anna. <laughs> Hi, I'm Jana. And what's your name? Hi, I'm Jacek. Hi, I'm Els. Hello, I'm Agla. Um, I think you all want to know something a little bit more about the audience members, so say like an interesting fact about yourself. So uh, I'm from Poland, uh, I am 14 years old, and I don't know, I like uh, sports. Um, I'm from Estonia, I like uh, nature, and animals, and I'm uh, 13. Uh, so, I'm from Lithuania, I'm still 16 years old. I uh, love arts, I love uh, music, especially metal music. <laughs> and, uh, yeah, that's it. I'm from Estonia, I'm 14. I really love arts, books, and music. I'm 17, I'm from Poland, and I love drawing. I'm from Estonia, I'm 14, I like sports and uh, dancing and drawing. So, as you can see, we have a very interesting audience. Let's clap for them. So everyone, tell something about your something interesting about your country. My country flag uh, means uh, uh, that um, blue uh, means uh, sky and uh, 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 black means the uh, trees and. Uh, And um, white means um, the snow and um, uh, beauty of Estonia. Okay, so <coughs> Poland is really beautiful country. You can go visit it because we have really lots of beautiful cities and people in Poland are really nice. Estonia is a really small country, but we have really beautiful nature. There are lots of forests there. Uh, Poland, Poland's flag is uh, white and uh, red, and the white symbolizes peace, and yes, and red symbolizes uh, blood that's from the <coughs> world wars that we the, the blood of our uh, grand-grandfathers and grand-grandmothers that they died for the country. Estonia have um, uh, dancing and singing uh, party. Uh, so an interesting fact about Lithuania is that we have uh, natural sand beaches, which is uh, very uh, not common in the world. So the countries are so different, and I think we need to clap for that, because it's amazing. <laughs> so I think you're all very and very excited for the topic that brought us all here, and it's Portugal. So, guests, what is your, what was your first thing uh, in mind when you came to Portugal? That there's 
in Portugal is very hot. It's a very hot country. There are a lot of, uh, I think, wine shops and wine. They, people uh, drink a lot of wine because uh, the wine is popular here. And the ocean, because there's ocean and hot water. I don't know. Portugal is a very hot country and it's very big and uh, there was a very beautiful nature. And can I ask, uh, what would be the normal temperature right now in your country? Mm, can you repeat? Uh, what would be the normal temperature right now in your country? Um, I think it's uh, 10 degrees. Oh my God, it's so cold. <laughs> well, the first thing that amazed me in Portugal was uh, huge palm trees. I've never saw them uh, in my life. And uh, I really love trees, I love nature. And I was like, oh my God, it's so big, it's so green. It just amazed me a lot. The first thing when I arrived here, it was raining, and I think we all hope for dry weather. So I hope the next day will be sunny and it won't rain. And the next thing that amazed me was the view. Um, I think the uh, mountains here are really beautiful, and it amazed me that uh, the views and first morning here, I, I woke up and saw so, so the fog from the window, and it was so beautiful that I will remember it for all my lifetime, I think. Yes, I think the palm trees and the hills are the uh, most uh, wonderful things, and the pe uh, people here is uh, so, so funny and uh, cool. So thank you for your answers, and let's clap. What were, your, what were your emotions when you came to Portugal? Were you scared and why? Uh, I wasn't scared, maybe a little bit because of, uh, I didn't know the family area that I came, came to. Uh, I wasn't scared because I know that it's a similar country, it's not like other religion there, or I don't know, there is a war or something. I wasn't scared very much. I scared the flight to Portugal, and I scared um, my uh, host family. But uh, <laughs> yes. But do you like your host family? Uh, yes, I like it. So I wasn't scared at all. Uh, like I love traveling, I love uh, seeing new stuff, I love uh, socializing with people, and uh, I loved uh, my host family because uh, they were really f friendly and uh, yeah. I wasn't scared, and um, I saw that the people uh, are uh, nice, and yeah. Okay, uh, I was excited to go to Portugal because it was my dream, so I was really happy to come here finally. I was a little bit nervous because of the new place, but other than that, all of my other emotions were clouded with exhaustion because we had a really long day. Okay, let's give them a round of applause. Um, so guys, we need to not to forget the fact that not only the Portugal is beautiful, but its language is so brilliant. And I would like, like to ask the audience members a question. Uh, what phrases and words in Portuguese did you learn? I don't know, probably 
the most uh, e the easiest one like sin or bona dena something like this i don't know can you repeat um, uh, what words and or phrases in portuguese did you learn Uh, I don't know, do... Uh, yeah. I like hear a voice saying like the answers for you somewhere, in the distance. Okay. I don't know. It's okay. Uh, well, I learned the uh, few words, but uh, as I can remember now, um, a moon is Lua, uh, sun is Sol, um, and I know how to count to ten. Oh, and you can count for us, please. Um, dois, tres, quatro, cinco, seis, sete, oito, nove, dez. Let's clap. <laughs> I don't really remember any words besides abricada, but means thank you. Um, before coming here, I tried to learn some Portuguese, but I failed. But I remember that yesterday I learned um, Eu sou linda. <laughs> uh, I learned only hola and si, so uh, that's all. So, sadly, but I guess time is running out. So, see you next week when we're going to talk about whatever we want, because it's our show. So, thank you, and tune by. Goodbye. Can the drama get some? 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 Yeah, yo, yo, what's up, yo, what's up, yo, what's up, yo, what's up, yo, Microphones, we heat up, we heat up, we heat up, we heat up. We don't stop, we just a couple bulls, couple bulls, couple bulls. Virtual reality, I speak without a salary. They just uploaded me. The TNT igniter. Eight ball corner park to blow out your eye socket. Drummer, hit me one more game. Can I get some? All up in your face. Can the drummer get some? 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 Can the drummer get some